Hi, I'm Ron Ario. Today I want to talk to you about a really profound life experience I had. At 38 years old, I had the good fortune of meeting and having a martial arts master and spiritual teacher. I was a live-in student for two years. The art was called ninjutsu. Ninjutsu was a metaphysical martial art about achieving excellence in life, physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional. Now, I set out to be a master in life. Not a master in martial arts, but a master in life. And oftentimes I felt like I bit off way more than I can chew. Becoming a master of your own life will set up challenges beyond your comprehension. Just settling for the status quo is easy. Allowing what life gives you is easy, but mastering yourself in all aspects, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, is a challenge, but it's the most rewarding challenge you can give yourself. Now, I loved being a student. Being a student was awesome. Having a teacher is awesome. Being able to go to my teacher and say, Sensei, what do I do now? What about this? What do you think about that? What do you think of that person's energy? Well, at some point in life, I had to let go. And after 14 years, I realized I needed to walk away. I needed to master my own life. Part of the reason I'm doing this video is just really to encourage you. There's many people that seek information and knowledge out there and wisdom. And there's many teachers out there. Don't ever put anybody above you on a pedestal. You have all the divine knowledge and all the divine wisdom built into your own DNA. It is there. You are a divine, multi-dimensional being. You have all the answers. It's a matter of really recognizing and understanding that. Now, in order to access this awareness, you have to be willing to take a risk. Oftentimes, our mind is fighting our heart. Our mind will come up with all kinds of answers and solutions and questions and will lead us astray 99% of the time. But we have to be able to feel our way through life. So what I suggest, and I made this decision in my life at one time, to start trusting my heart. Now, a lot of the times the mind will be in conflict. You have to be able to, and willing, to walk off that proverbial cliff, so to speak, to really find out, is that voice that I'm trusting the real voice? And once you make enough mistakes, your guidance system will come into play and you'll begin to recognize with your own feelings what is the right direction for you. So I encourage you now to find your own way, to trust your own voice, to be your own master.